A major winter storm continues to pound central and eastern Kentucky. I've got an updated call for snowfall that raises the numbers in just a moment. Of emergency because of this winter storm. The snow falling so fast, road crews are having a tough time keeping up. We have live first alert weather team coverage now at four. And the heavy snow is causing power problems, especially in southern Kentucky, which also had freezing rain. We're also live in Somerset with the latest. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Welcome to WKYT News at 4. I'm Jennifer Palumbo. Governor Matt Bevin has declared a state of emergency in Kentucky because of this crippling winter storm affecting all 120 counties. The snow started falling this morning and it hasn't stopped. Take a look at this aerial video we have of downtown Lexington, which has at least eight inches. Some areas of the bluegrass could see as much as two feet of snow when all is said and done. Our team of meteorologists and reporters are covering the storm on this WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. We begin with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Chris? Yeah, this storm continues to crank Jennifer across central and eastern Kentucky, and it is every bit as strong as we have been talking about for the past several days. If anything, it's actually a little stronger. Keep raising those snowfall totals into parts of eastern Kentucky to keep up with the amazing snow fall amounts that are coming from the sky. Winter storm warning continues through tomorrow for the entire state. New updated totals bring in the potential for two feet of snow into parts of eastern Kentucky. We're already getting a lot of reports of greater than 12, 14, 15, 16 inches of snow as a possibility. Farther north, as expected, very sharp cutoff around the Ohio River counties, around the Covington, Cincinnati area. Southern parts of the region, better than a foot of snow already on the ground. Parts of Madison County back toward the southwest. We're getting in reports of 12 inches of snow into Casey County. 15 and 16 inch amounts I'm getting out of parts of Owsley, Lee, Breathitt counties and into sections of Morgan County. You've got a lot more snow to go. Thus, you have a shot of cracking two feet of snow from one storm, and you may get a lot of that in one single 24 hour period. Absolutely phenomenal with what is going on with the atmosphere right now. Defender radar network showing this band of snow that just continues to sit in place and pound the same area. So you're not going to look toward the north. You're not going to look toward the west to find that uh, clearing line getting in anytime soon. Yes, western Kentucky snows will begin to diminish somewhat, but as that low cranks up to our south and southeast, we're still going to get snows to come at us late tonight from the east and the northeast. Mountain Parkway corridor. Basically, this area is shut down. You've got better than a foot of snow. I-64. It's crazy to sound, but you know what? 64 east of Lexington, the heaviest snow is still on the way. Bluegrass region. Here's what it looks like. It is wall to wall snowfall, and where you see these brighter white bands coming to the northwest toward Lexington, snows are getting ready to increase yet again across the downtown area. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell joins me right now. He's out back here at the station. He's been battling the wind and the snows all afternoon long, and Jim, it just keeps on coming at us. It does keep coming, and uh, I've been out here off and on since uh, around 10 o'clock this morning. Just continuously out here for live reports, Chris. And, and during that time, I've watched it stay steady the entire time. But during that time, I've also watched it increase. And I've watched those winds increase. And right now, I've got them to my back. That's the only thing that's keeping me out here because those wind chills are tough, especially when you've got snow pelting you in the face. One of the things that I've noticed over the last little bit, the snow that's flying out here right now is more of a small, drier nature. And, and I know people who, well, how is snow dry? Well, the colder you get, the smaller the flakes are. And basically, the drier technically the atmosphere could be. What happens is you start ramping up those overall totals as far as how much snow is coming down at a more rapid rate, in smaller flakes, even more of them starting to multiply. And that's what we're running into right now, Chris. So we're getting that higher ratio of snow, meaning that those totals you have in your forecast are right on par, my friend. Yeah, it's one of those scenarios to where it takes less moisture to create snow. Uh, so you're going to see the fluff factor add to the snowfall accumulation. Southern Kentucky, southeastern Kentucky, a little small break here uh, south of the Hal Rogers Parkway toward Bell County. That'll fill back in very shortly as we look toward the southwest. Still a steady stream of moisture that is coming in from the volunteer state of Tennessee. And you can see now that low 
just to our west, and all those snow bands are going to continue to work toward the area. And this, by the way, East Coast blizzard is just now coming together across sections of the Carolinas. Look how much real estate is being covered by this expansive monster snowstorm. Jennifer, it's not just Kentucky with states of emergency or state of emergency. It's Tennessee, it's the Carolinas, Virginia, West Virginia, all the way up into the nation's capital, New York City, where blizzard, a true blizzard, is ready to strike. We'll continue to watch this storm. It's it's not finished by a long shot. And again, I'm confident some areas are going to pick up two feet of snow before this is done. One of the all-time great snowstorms ever in Kentucky. We'll check back in with you in about 10 minutes, Chris. And this major storm is putting Lexington's snow plan to the test. Road crews have been working around the clock trying to keep up with all the snow, but it's falling faster than they can clear it. Our WKYT First Alert weather team coverage continues in Lexington. Miranda Combs is live in downtown with how the city is responding. Miranda? Yeah, Jennifer, you know, we have been out here for much of the day, and despite the efforts of the snow plows, which we've seen dozens since we've been out here, the roads are very challenging now and have become so in the past couple of hours. However, it's not because the plows aren't out, it's just the snow won't stop. Interestingly, photographer Barton Bill and I covered the winter storm in Lexington last year, and there is a marketable difference between the amount of snow plows that they have out this year compared to what they had out last year. So it shows that their plan is working. Now, still, some people prefer to run this morning. We ran into a guy who's training for the Boston Marathon and says snow, no matter how much, isn't going to stop him. It's beautiful, and I get really excited in times like this. I'm off of work today. We're shut down. And the city's kind of like my own personal playground because it's the roads are pretty uh, clear of cars, so it's a great time to get a run in. Now, the city of Lexington has planned a press conference to get underway at 4.30. We're going to head across the street right now and get ready for that. And we'll have the latest on what happens in there coming up as soon as it's over. For now, we're live in Lexington. Miranda Combs, WKYT. Thank you, Miranda. And all the snow is making driving dangerous and keeping police busy. Lexington police tell us they've worked 33 crashes so far today. That includes a six vehicle crash on I 64 and a three car crash on I 75. Mike Linden continues our team weather coverage live in Lexington on Lane Allen Road. Mike, how are the roads where you are? Well, Jennifer, we are here on Alexandria Drive heading toward Versailles Road, where it is quite difficult to even see the road in the first place. We have a uh, person in front of us right now that uh, th this is what you should not be doing here, getting in the middle of the uh, flow of traffic. It looks like he's trying to get back onto the right side of the road with quite a few cars coming from the other side there. What's important to realize out of this, though, is the visibility is so far down. It is difficult to see that far ahead of you whatsoever. And even though we're driving around in a four-wheel drive vehicle, uh, it's been quite difficult to even get out of those larger snow banks when pulling in to even fill up to get gas. So it's just important to realize that when, when looking at that snow, those big drifts, quite difficult to know how deep that snow actually is until it's too late. Live in Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. All right, thank you, Mike. South of Lexington, I-75 is closed north and southbound from mile point 44 to 56 in Rock Castle County. Kentucky State Police expected to be closed for several more hours. They say there are multiple crashes in that area. Southern Kentucky had a good coating of freezing rain before the snow started falling, and that's led to power outages. One of the hardest hit areas is Pulaski County. At last check, South Kentucky RECC had 1,245 customers without power. WKYT's Phil Pendleton is live in Somerset with the latest there. Phil? I am outside the Somerset Police Department where it just continues to snow. Now, this lot behind me was plowed just before noon today, and already, as you can tell, it's completely white again. In fact, I measured it just a little while ago, and there's already six inches here. And, I, that, you know, in front of me here, there's a big drift. There's probably a, a foot or maybe more here right in front of me. It has been snowing all day long, and it's just adding insult to injury. Now, traffic on US 27 in Somerset, slow going but steady. Plow trucks were clearing the roads, but moments later it was covered up again. It began with sleet and freezing rain. That caused a few tractor trailers to get stuck. 
they got going again, then it turned to snow, and it's been coming down constantly since then. Now, I rode along with a Somerset police officer in a Hummer. It's Randall Smith there, a Marine turned officer for the police department. I was with him as he got some much needed drivers some help. As we drive around um, the city, making sure nobody's stuck, accidents, basically make sure nobody's stranded. And one of the things I've noticed today when I was out with that officer is the willingness of other drivers to stop what they're doing to help other people that are stranded. They would just literally stop in the middle of U.S. Highway 27 and lend a hand. We'll have more on that willing spirit to help and that good human spirit coming up at 5 o'clock. But for now, in Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The heavy snowfall has affected travel from the east coast to the south. At Bluegrass Airport in Lexington, about two dozen flights have been canceled or delayed so far. All major airlines are giving refunds or travel waivers to people who plan to fly today so they can rebook their flight after the storm. Airport officials say if you're planning to fly today, keep checking your flight status. You can check that list by going to our website, WKYT.com. Well, as Chris told you, it's not just Kentucky. It is hard getting around much of the ground or in the air. According to flight tracking service Flight Aware, airlines have canceled more than 2,400 flights today as that major snowstorm bears down on the East Coast. Another 2,400 were canceled for tomorrow. The bulk of today's cancellations are into or out of North Carolina airports, while tomorrow's cancellations center around Philadelphia, Washington, and New York. This storm could impact more than 75 million people. Road crews in many communities are having a tough time keeping up with all this snow. We'll have a report from Madison County next on WKYT News at 4. And we'll also head to Moorhead where the snow keeps piling up and conditions are getting worse. Updating. It's time to beat the Gators in Kentucky Blood Center's Big Blue Slam January 25th through the 29th. Donate blood, save lives, and support Kentucky. You can also donate Thursday, January 28th at Rupp Arena and take a shot on the court. Visit kyblloodcenter.org for details. Everyone is singing praises about essential oils and trying to make their home free of toxic chemicals. Get the facts yourself and learn how Young Living Essential Oils can help support your family's health and well-being. Visit JustOneDrop.com for more information and local classes. Important message for women and men ages 50 to 85. Please write down this toll-free number now. Right now in areas like yours, people are receiving this free information kit. For guaranteed acceptance life insurance with a rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. If you are on a fixed income or concerned about rising prices, learn about affordable whole life insurance with a lifetime rate lock that guarantees your rate can never increase for any reason. If you did not receive your information or if you misplaced it, call this number now and we'll rush it to you. Your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. Please stand by to learn more. I'm Alex Trebek, and the announcement you just heard is for a popular and affordable life insurance plan with a rate lock guarantee. That means your rate is locked in for life and can never increase. Did you get your free information kit in the mail? If not, please call this toll-free number now. In the last month alone, thousands have called about this plan with the rate lock guarantee through the Colonial Pen Program. And here's why. This plan is affordable with coverage options for just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in and can never go up. And your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your health. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. Call now for your free information kit. Don't wait. Call today. Call 1-800-909-4488 for your free information and free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-909-4488. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-909-4488. Call now. Tonight, how far will he go? You murdered your wife. For justice. You better do what I tell you to do. New Hawaii 5 then... 
Thanks for your service, Lieutenant. And don't let the door hit you on the way out. Witnesses saw him shooting up a subway car. What? You know you need to turn yourself in. Do what you have to do, because I'm going to do what I have to. Put down the gun. New Blue Bloods after Hawaii Five O tonight. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. We continue to cover this winter storm pounding Kentucky. Caitlin Sentner continues our WKYT team weather coverage from Richmond. The snow is really coming down here in Richmond. I wish I could say the road conditions have gotten better, but that's just not the case. We're here along Main Street where there's been a fair amount of traffic throughout the day. The road's still not visible. The roads may not look it, but plows are out in full force in Richmond and Madison County. The snow has been coming down so heavily today, it's just not possible to keep the roads clear very long. We took a time lapse on our drive around town, and the key is if you're out, you absolutely have to take it slow. The common theme today has been a lot of spinning tires and a lot of sliding. A lot of businesses in the Richmond area are closed today, so I'd 100% recommend if you don't have to be out today, don't risk it. It's crazy. I wouldn't suggest being out unless you absolutely had to. I mean, if it wasn't for me trying to get to the bank and get some money, maybe some food and stuff, go to the store or something, I wouldn't be probably trying to get out myself. We caught up with Madison County officials earlier today to see something new they had just launched. Residents can now check online and see where snow plows are at in real time. Today, I recommend, though, even if your street has been plowed, don't get out unless you have to. In Madison County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. And that tracker is available through the Madison County government website. Now let's check back in with Chris for another check on this winter storm. Chris? Yes, snows continue to fly across the entire area, and those snowfall numbers that continue to come in are absolutely off the charts now. Considering that for many of these areas, it did not start snowing until after daybreak today, and we're getting reports now 15, 16, and 17 inches of snow. Since sun up this morning, that's uh, you will be hard pressed to go through the record books and find anything like that around here. We're looking at your Defender radar network. Snow isn't even close to being done, and we're going to continue to deal with heavy snow amounts as we go through the evening hours, and especially central and eastern Kentucky. We may still try to throw enough snow to cause more road closures. We've got one along part of Interstate 75 that we will run down here in just a moment, and we will also have that latest call for snowfall as a major winter storm blasts the bluegrass state. The full forecast and a uh, more team coverage. Jim Caldwell will join me in just a moment as we run down what is left in the tank of this major winter storm, and it has a lot of snow left to throw at us. That's after the break. Stay right here. When winter is at its worst, that's when WKYT calls a first alert severe weather day. Keeping your family safe with the power of the Defender Radar Network and the entire first alert weather team. Plus, continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Because when the snow starts falling, it takes an experienced team to stand for you when the weather gets tough. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. What's that one thing? That one thing that can make you feel good, help the environment, and pay you cash back? It's Simple Saver. Simple Saver does all that, and all it takes to start is one click. Or one call. Getting paid to be energy smart. That's one good idea. A message from your Kentucky Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. 
Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now, and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed, with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free, with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. Call now. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Major winter storm continues to pound the bluegrass state. Record snows, a good likelihood into much of central and eastern Kentucky. That winter storm warning goes in effect through tomorrow into much of the region, especially through the first half of the day. Those updated snowfall totals that we are expecting now, one to two feet across much of eastern Kentucky. And there's even a shot that part of the Licking River Valley, Big Sandy Valley, up toward Moorhead and Ashland. There's a shot that some areas exceed 24 inches of snow before this wraps up tomorrow. You want to talk about a crippling snowstorm? Folks, this is it. This is about as big as it gets around here. Across the Bluegrass region, farther north you go, you're only going to pick up, in some cases, a foot of snow, or in a lighter case to the north of that, five or six inches of snow. Then you get to Covington, and as expected, those numbers come down. Southwest, Danville, toward the Bowling Green area, a lot of this area has already picked up better than 10 inches of snow. You may throw another four or five inches on the ground before this wraps up. Moral of the story for the areas that we've been highlighting for the past couple of days for a shutdown snowstorm, you're getting shut down as of right now with a storm that is bigger and badder than either of the storms we had last winter, last February and March. Here's your Defender Radar Network. Snow bands continue across the region where you see the bursts of brighter white coming in. That's a quick one to two inch snow per hour. That's been the theme so far for the day. We've had thunder snow out there in the parts of southern Kentucky today. That's right, thunder and lightning with this snow. Into central Kentucky, those snow bands are working in from southeast to northwest. So parts of northern Kentucky, yep, you're a little behind compared to everybody else and a lot behind compared to uh, parts of central and eastern Kentucky. You're going to try to make up for a little lost ground over the next couple of hours. Still, your totals will be nowhere like what we're seeing across central and eastern Kentucky. Any bit of drying that is showing up there should fill in quickly as our storm continues to crank. Look at all the moisture that is still left across Tennessee and the little curly cue now that is working between Paducah and the Bowling Green area. And now this low pressure is beginning to weaken and it's giving way to the blizzard that is along the East Coast. Jim, the snowfall totals already are impressive to say the least. We're getting reports of greater than 12 inches by a long shot, aren't we? Yeah, so again, to put that in perspective, that's better than a foot showing up in some areas because of that system. Here are just some of the totals that we have, some of the higher end totals that we've been tracking out there. In Jackson, 17 inches of snow. That's closing now. It's getting closer to two feet and it closer than uh, closer to the one foot. So you're looking at Boonville at 17 inches. Nancy in Pulaski County, 15 inches. Salyersville, 15 inches. West Liberty and Liberty both coming in at 13 inches each, so just better than a foot. Now remember, you go into uh, parts of eastern Kentucky, they didn't see the snow as early as others did. So it's starting to catch up out there, and now we're starting to see some of the issues. Here's a major issue along Interstate 75 closure. Road is closed between exit 59, uh, which is US 150 Wilderness Road, and exit 49. So you see a big chunk of the road 
closed down there along the interstate. Just a total nightmare. And let me show you why. We've got some pictures coming in along the interstate, and you can see a total mess there. That's uh, in Madison County. Let me move one more camera shot up to the uh, Clays Ferry Bridge, and you can see, well, you can't see very much at all, Christopher. We are talking about a significant amount of snow, but the crews are out there battling as fast as they can, but the rate of snow just keeps piling it on. That's yeah. a big problem. Yeah, exactly right. And you, we continue that little track right up the interstate, and we continue to pick up on the heavy snows as that area of low pressure winds up to our south and southeast. This is what we're going to be dealing with as we go through the evening. Now, later tonight and tomorrow morning, the snows will become a little lighter brand of snow. But by then, Jennifer, we're going to be talking about the possibility of only adding a few more inches to this late tonight and tomorrow morning. Some areas close to 20, 24 inches already by the time midnight rolls around. Absolutely phenomenal snowstorm that is in progress across much of our region right now. Thank you, Chris, and we will continue to track it with our live team coverage next on WKYT News. But first, tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $39 million, and tomorrow night's Powerball is $60 million.